Hey guys, uh, so <clears throat> going to do something a little bit different today. Um, I started out with a a little bit of a um, more zoomed out look at the uh, record setup, so you can see exactly what, what it all kind of looks like. See how everything's put together. <clears throat> so the last video I did, I believe I touched off on that I was getting kind of close to 300. And so I've had some mail come in the last couple of days and leading up to today number 300 came in the mail I haven't opened it so it's going to be um, a surprise for everyone including myself as to which one it is because um, usually whenever I get like one or two pieces in the mail I'll uh, uh, send a, a picture to a group of, that we have on Facebook Messenger showing what I got and I figured with this being number 300 and <clears throat> being such a, a short amount of time that uh, to get up to this point I thought it'd be kind of uh, cool to do a special video um, I'm gonna do a countdown up to that though I have a couple other records that came in uh, prior to that so I'm gonna show you number 298 number 299 and the new one number 300 um, First thing I want to say is, you know, I really wasn't uh, thinking of really doing any kind of record collecting. And then over the last couple of years or so, I've had some friends on Facebook that have been collecting. And um, I, I'd had a couple different uh, CD collections that made it up to about the 600 mark. And either from items being stolen or damaged through the, a flood we had a, a few years ago. Um, I kind of just was discouraged from buying the physical product anymore because I got kind of tired of losing everything I was spending money on. Um, <clears throat> so I mainly fell into to downloading like I guess like a lot of people did. Um, I didn't look at stuff on YouTube or whatever and it just... Um, never really really appealed to me to go out and spend money on music again when I could get it for free listen to it on on find it on YouTube or whatever um, but <clears throat> just seeing watching the videos from a friend a couple of friends of mine that um, that were in the VC the uh, kind of like the excitement and the joy and the the happiness of of just kind of being able to especially with vinyl go back in time with a lot of these older records and having like a piece of like history to go with it and you know some of the newer bands coming out with with records as well uh you know it just seemed like uh just something to like maybe kind of casually get into and then <clears throat> like any good thing that any good hobby that you have becomes very addicting becomes very um very much of an adrenaline rush to go do and I think it's um I think it's even more so with records than it is so with CDs because they're a lot they're not as easy to get a hold of like you go into a music store and you know the CDs are usually all right there I mean you could go in and get an instant you know collection of a band going into the, the CD store and it's not so much I feel like it's, it's kind of anticlimactic I guess when you going through records and searching and you know if you find stuff and you look and like you weren't even expecting to find or by stuff you uh, groups you never heard of watch other VC videos and you know you see a, a record in a store kind of like the album cover which you weren't really sure about it and you see somebody else that has it and they kind of tell you a little bit more about it then you go out and you get it yourself I was got quite a bit of mine that way um, and also you can get a lot of stuff uh, a lot of records cheap too that really helps especially if it's something that you're not that familiar with a term that we use a lot called a, a blind buy just kind of going by what the album cover looks like uh, without really any kind of real research behind it you, you only spent three four five six dollars on it so it's not that that big of a deal as if you know you bought a cd nowadays it's at least twelve thirteen dollars at the very least and might not even like it at all um <clears throat> So, uh, I just thought that, uh, you know, share a little bit of my personal journey, my, me and my wife putting this collection together, it's not all me, she has contributed a, a good amount to it, um, <clears throat> so, without further ado, I'm going to start the countdown, uh, at 298, 
This one came in, I think, on uh, Thursday, the second Van Halen record. <clears throat> and this is the second Van Halen record in my collection. Um, I have uh, Women and Children First as well. Kind of on the similar theme at $2.99. Sammy Hagar's VOA. Which was put out in uh, 19... 84, which 84 was the year prior to him um, joining Van Halen after David Lee Roth left. <clears throat> and that puts me at uh, uh, five Sammy Hagar albums. So I was kind of almost tempted to go through the list that I've compiled of re how many records per band. I kind of dished that idea um, and decided just to kind of do this short little countdown first. So, <clears throat> without further ado, record number 300. And I'm using an actual knife, not a steak knife, not a screwdriver, not a pin. And record number 300 is the 1987 self-titled release by Whitesnake. I had um, got what I thought was going to be a Whitesnake record some months ago. I'm sure most of you might remember that video where it was just a promo art that I paid $5 for. I was thinking I was getting the record and I didn't. So this time I actually read everything in the description and double checked it actually and this is the actual see there's an actual record behind here i'm not lying so <clears throat> record number 300 and the very first white snake um portion of my collection is finally in hope that you were just as uh glued into the drama as i was if not oh well um anyway thanks for watching and god bless <clears throat>